rapper. Only stack rapper that you know is stack rapper. It went from Jack Thriller to Fat Boy. Uh huh. And then um, my boy Prince Z. But I used to do like a lot of relationship videos, like me and my baby moms, like should irritate me and I'll do a video about that shit and it'll go viral. So a lot of my videos are like real life shit. So how so how did she react to that shit? She didn't like that shit at all. Like yeah. she still your girl? View, nah, she left me. But still, <laughs> she left me. You see what I'm saying though? You see, you Was see, it? like doing this shit, like really going yeah, yeah, hard. Yeah, 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 how hard he was going, he really like and I don't know, like, if you was in love with her or nothing, or like, if yeah, you felt like was you was ready to fight for it. But was I remember having these conversations yeah. where he was like, Beyonce. "Yo, yeah. yeah," and they, and I was like, "How?" And it was like, it was over. Yeah, she loved. He me. started getting lit, and he ain't have time no more Every because. Every time I go viral, we're getting a big ass argument. So what? I used to hate going viral. What would she say? She hate. What? What was it? What, what did she, she say? To you? She was hating. No, no, no. She give give me, give me her talking points. When y'all get in an argument, you just went viral. What did she say to you? She'll start talking shit. This ain't shit. You ain't got no money. You a bum. She'll go in. But you had money. Damn. Yeah, I had a job also. You had, so you was working. Yeah, but still not that type of money. But you know. But you, you was working. But she probably felt like you was It got to think about it. You got to think all. about it. Like in the beginning, you don't make that much money. You know what I'm saying? Know, totally so you're trying to grind out, get your face out there, so you can get some promos or whatever. That's what say to just get you tight. I mean, you know, women now that shit you don't them. say if you you um, respect your man's dreams. Yeah, right, that you know, shit you just don't. That's, yeah, you know, nah, that's real. That's real because know, but, she's used to him being home. You gotta remember yeah, this is this yeah. is actually like his baby mom. They have a family, like yeah. so to see him yeah, overnight. You know what I'm saying? Outside around people that's super you know? lit. Huh? I was I was there. Oh, okay. I was there. I watched it. I watched it. He used to tell me like, "Yo, this shit crazy, baby mom." Like she. She don't want to be doing it. Yeah. So that's why all your skits was like that, arguing with the shorties yeah, and all that? Yeah, real life shit. So like, my shit's going crazy, but I'm not really that happy because I'm always arguing with her. Mad shit just keeps happening. I don't know. Don't Sleeping in the know? car. Sleeping in my car. Don't Sleeping you guys know car. my face always stays like this no matter what? Like I go viral, make money. It's because I know something's coming, so I never really get to really enjoy, enjoy it. it. Even to this day, like good shit happened, I'll still be like this. Bad shit happens, I'll just keep it like Tim Duncan. Yeah, you kind of yeah. traumatized for Yeah, I'm just like, what up? You say you traumatized. Yeah, no, no, it's real. <laughs> you know, sometimes good shit happens, you can't really celebrate yeah. it because you know something's coming. So that's unfortunate. Like, yeah. That's, that's unfortunate. Now, that, that is a problem. It shouldn't, yeah. be, it shouldn't be like that. Yeah. Not just fun, just, you know. No, in general, life, in, life in itself. No, but, but I can see you get like that in a relationship. Like, every time something good. But it, doing it, this it shit is hard though. It results in an argument or some something crazy. Like, yeah, after a while, it's like you don't know how to celebrate. Because she didn't sign up for that. She didn't sign up for it. She That's didn't meet me. She didn't meet she me doing this. So it's like a whole. And now we, I'm and we talking about what eight years ago. Yeah, we talking about years ago, years bro. Ago, yeah. 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 Nobody knew what IG was gonna go crazy yeah. the way it is now, bro. Right. And how, how content is, is making oh, money knew. and it's like a fucking like big that. ass industry, right? You. How did you know? I knew. How? I started off. 2000, I want to say 2010, 11, right? Mm -hmm. I had my job, boom, he's doing YouTube. Vine came out next, Facebook, then came Instagram. Right. Everybody was trying to transition their apps that was coming out to phones, yeah. how to utilize the phones. I was already making footage on a camera, but I had to transition and work on the phone. I had to upgrade my phone. Because right. I started seeing everybody starting to take the phones. It started with the 15 seconds. I was like, this is going somewhere. Right. And one of my mentors, Capone, was like, yo, put that phone down. Get on stage. I said, the stage ain't going nowhere. I understand the stage, but my whole thing is I love directing. I love writing. And I love producing my own content. I was always a content creator. Right. Yeah. But I was around stand-up comedians. On stage here and there, right. Rob Stapleton, Omar the Comedian, you know them all, I'm saying, mm, Smokey, right. I was there. So when they were saying, yo, what's up with these videos and all that, I was like, I'm going to keep making these videos because that's how I'm building. But nobody knew, all right, some, there's a such thing as subscribers, there's a such thing as followers. Years come, I knew you had to build because it was going to be... Rely, you have to rely on this because this is where everybody's going now. Right. The kids is watching. They keep making apps. Now you have to buy phones that have apps. You have to keep right. updating. Yeah. I'm watching them like, yo, you have to have a phone. Yeah. And you have to know how to utilize it. You have to know how to work it. You have to know how to edit. You have to know how to shoot a video. You have, you have to know how to actually keep up with the times. Right. And what we seen happen was, no disrespect to the OGs, 
they didn't know how to keep up with the times. Yep. Yeah. Comedians at one time was like, "Yo, mad at us. What's up with these? What's up with these new comedians making videos and all that?" <laughs> but now, what happened? Who, who were the guys saying that? We talking about we talking yeah, about we talking yeah, about stand up we talking about, stand-up, 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 yeah, stand-up, 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 stand-up world they was hating on the stand up world yeah, yeah, and they yeah. couldn't hate on me because I was doing both right I, I don't think they was hating on us I just think they were just hating that we were labeled as they didn't know I think they didn't have an understanding they didn't have an understanding they said they said their comic their comedy is different you're a real comedy get on the stage right do five minutes show us you're a real comedian then came the Jess hilarious. DC Young Flies and everybody that started getting them stages and they seen their followers and everything, what they was getting paid and how they was getting on these tours with Mike Epps, which is still going on. They said, oh, we might have to grab our phones and start doing the same thing. Wow. Yeah. And that's what happened. They, started, they was no longer, like, you know what I'm saying, not understanding because I don't want to call it hate. They, they understood now. Right. I got to start getting up with these Things youngins and, and getting in these videos or start learning how to utilize my phone and these apps. I got to build. I got to start putting out content. Content over everything. And that's always. Content, it's always. Man, like content. It's always. You need a fan base. When they told me content is king, bro. That's true. Your creativity will fucking give you millions. You just got to wait. <laughs> you just got to wait. You got to wait. Focus. Put in that work and wait. The uh, problem is too keep much focus. content over talent. I see a lot of you people know what it is, putting bro? out a lot of nah, shit. Nah, nah, nah. And it just kind of. it. No. I see a lot of people putting out a. It oversaturates. There's so much trash to sift through yes. because they don't make any laws on who can buy. Right. Now they got yeah, they got facts. the rails like and shit. But I'm saying when you say that, when you <laughs> yeah, say that, that true. hold on, Matt. When you say that, what do you mean when you say it's, it's too much content saturated? I, I believe I, I believe there's a lot of people who want to be famous, mm-hmm. and I believe there's a lot of people who want to be good. Yeah, and, and what's I, missing? And I. The there, there's, the, no, the, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's, a, there's, there's a gap no between them. There's no staff and no crew that says this is really, really good. You just want to be famous. You need to get the fuck out the way and let the dude who's talented. I think Tom does do that. Thing. You know what? Yeah, but it, it takes it takes you know a lot of time. That? And 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 pardon me. And there's no there's no time restriction on people wanting attention. Yeah, you know what did that though? People wanted just to go viral. That's it. You go viral, then what, bro? That's true. Right. What are you gonna do after? <laughs> what is your next fucking goal, bro? Right. I smacked the dude in the casket. I went viral for like three, four years just doing that shit. I remember the dude telling you me like you were going around smacking dudes in castles. Yeah. That's what the dude wanted me to do. One of the director dudes, he was like, "Yo, that should be your character. Go around smacking people. Go to what a few, the? Go to like Pretty a real... trying to book him to, to smack people for real. Like, wait, 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 Nah. No, Yo, you, 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 I, didn't go, so I, I didn't want that to be my We're going to actual funerals. Nah, bro, we shot that in the YouTube space, nah, bro. Shout out you, to yeah. AJTV, man. We yeah, shot bro. that in the YouTube space. Like, Same things not to do at a funeral. That was Facts. one of the things. I got exactly. to record it on my phone. I posted it and then. That's what's up. Well, how, that, how, that, how that skit come together, though? Well, it was, uh, they hit me up. They was doing a skit called 10 Things Not to Do at a Funeral. One of the things was. Uh, you go in there and you smack the, you smack the dude in the casket. Right. So I was like, I bet. You know, I'm going to go in. It was a soldier boy shit at the time, so I was just acting like soldier boy. I went in there, slapped the dude, and I posted just that clip, like, yo, check out my last video. Bro, I had thirty thousand. I woke up to three hundred thousand followers, bro. Damn. Mad news league saying uh blood member smacked rival in a casket <laughs> in the funeral. My mom calling me like, What are you doing? <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, I'm like, what you ain't the getting fuck? no threats. Threats? Bro. Yeah, that's wild. I was getting church groups hitting me up, talking about to get <laughs> baptized in North Carolina, bro. In North Carolina. It's I'll never forget that. Me. Come through your to try to save me, It was bro. the ops. It was, it was the ops. Bro. Now, when I first seen that skit, I'm like, yo, he really did that shit. That it shit really real. happened. That real. ass, I thought it was real. Yeah. But after that, when you I thought when it was I, real? Was it an actual person? Only smack rapper that you know is smack rapper.